Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to On Point HQ, an update into my kit-bashed heavy mortar uh, for my bolt-action Germans. Um, if you've seen the previous video about this, I'll link it in the description below. Um, it, I just went, I just talked about how I went about building the um, the mortar using bits and pieces from an old uh, 40k uh, heavy weapon set. Very kindly, Paul and Mark uh, pointed out that I was missing a crewman. Um, so thanks for pointing that out, uh, I'd completely overlooked that part it was a, an error on my part however it also did present me with a problem is that there was no more space on the base for, <laughs> for a fourth crewman so never to be deterred by a problem like that i resolved to make myself a bigger base for the mortar and it got a bit out of control <laughs> i'm going to be completely honest about that it took on a life of its own and and here it is and it's finished so what i'm going to do <clears throat> is mesh around the focus and the camera so you can see exactly what I've been up to. So as you can see, we've now got four crewmen for the heavy mortar and a mixture of there's three grenadiers and there's a, um, a guy with an SS uh, smock. Well, it's not been painted an SS smock, it's an SS body from the plastic set. But there we have it and they're all contained on one base. One really quite big base. <laughs> I think you'll agree. It just it, I just started um, thinking, how can I make a bigger base? Um, I've got, I haven't got any of the, the MDF um, laser cut 10x10 10 10 that I normally use. So what I did, I just built one out of cork and balsa wood. So as you'll see, it's just based on a really big bit of cork board with the wall built up on the side there. Now rather than just put them onto basic um, cork, I decided to make it like a, a bombed out or ruined building. So I uh, just used several strips of balsa wood and broke these up to make them look a bit um, uh, a bit broken and worse for wear. Uh, added a bit of an explosion or a, um, a collapse there. Um, and the base was actually really simple to make. It was, like I say, just balsa wood and cork. Um, and there's the mortar. So that's just the 40k mortar. As you say, it's a heavy mortar. It's why it's, it's why it's mahusive. It looks really big compared to them, but. Um, like I said, from, from looking at the reference material, um, that's sort of what they were. They were quite big. Now, the sandbags are from the uh, Commonwealth uh, Infantry uh, set. You get a nice, nice selection of sandbags in there. And then we just have the crew. Um, as you can see, I've got some some bits and pieces there. So rifles, Panzerfaust, there's a, a shovel up against the wall there. But that's, that's the heavy mortar finished. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw some um, photographs up at the end of the video so you can see it um, a bit better. See some of the more details. But that, that's the finished piece. Um, it's, I guess, the base, it's, it's, it's big, I'll be honest. It's, it's, it's a big base, but I like, I like the kind of mini diorama aspect to it. Uh, I think it's it's got that, that, that nice look to it. Just need to build a spotter to go with it on a similar, albeit smaller base. But I want it, I want I want the spotter to be tied in to make it look as they're in the same the same theatre of, of operations. But that is my completed heavy mortar team. Um, put a bit more bit more work bit more time into this than I normally would uh, when I'm painting bolt action Germans. But I think overall. It's turned out um, exactly how I wanted it to. Really, really chuffed with the floorboards, actually. They, they've, they've come out better than I definitely expected. But there we go. So what I'll say, I'll throw some um, stills up at the end of the video. So you can have a better look at, at what this looks like. Well, there we go. I'm quite, quite happy with the, with the results. And I have myself a, another uh, kit bash section of my late war Germans or from bits and pieces from my bits boxes. So mission absolutely completed on that front. I well, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, I'll link to the previous uh, video in the description below. So you can check that one out if you haven't already seen it. So you can see from where I went to where I ended up. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll answer, I'll certainly answer any comments and questions. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Um, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So, bye-bye for now.